Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. This is Robin, your host for Muck Chat Check Ya. Today, we're going to check out the Link Promenade before we head over to the Vanderpump Cocktail Garden at the Caesars Hotel and Resort in Las Vegas. As you guys can see, it's pretty dead. There's not a whole lot of traffic, and it is COVID-19, obviously. Uh, definitely, we are quite surprised to see that it's a ghost town. Even these overpasses, guys, there's barely anybody on the escalators and sky bridges. So as we drive over to the Link Promenade, uh, this is actually kind of a, a newer attraction here in Las Vegas. It's, it's right next to the new Link Hotel and the Flamingo Hotel. Uh, it is also part of the Caesars Entertainment Group. So if you guys are Diamond members or Seven Star members of Caesars Entertainment, uh, you will be able to park in any of those resorts. So I am heading over to the Link Hotel to park my vehicle and walk over to the promenade. Here we go. Mokcha Shekya, let's go. So I was trying to park at the link and I accidentally pulled into the Harris um, hotel entrance. Um, this is not the entrance guys, so you'll see me take a little scoot out to get back onto the right lane. It's easy to miss guys, so make sure you guys get on the lane. It's right after Harris or right before, depending on which way you're coming from. Uh, you gotta make a left and it goes down underneath to the parking garages. So here we have arrived, and as you guys can see, this is the Link Promenade. Uh, this is pretty much like an outdoor kind of shopping area, restaurant area. It's, they've got a zip lining, and they've got a giant Ferris wheel at the end. It's really just a, a cool outdoor mall area. They've got some interesting people here also. Uh, so make sure if you have children, or if you have young eyes, uh, just to really uh, protect them. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do a walk over. As you guys can see, because of COVID-19, everything is pretty close, but this street right here, guys, this promenade was popping. Like it was it was packed. Actually, we were here on Saturday night too, the night before, and there was way more people. So it was definitely a, a good place to go in COVID-19 you know, situation because it is outdoors. Um, everyone was pretty good about you know wearing their masks and really safe distancing trying not to make contact with each other so i really appreciated that guys let's go for a little stroll
right guys so here we are close to the end of the promenade and we are ending up at the high roller so the high roller is really the highlight of this promenade which is the giant ferris wheel uh, there was a huge line uh, so i would think that if you want to get on that make sure you make reservations and pay ahead uh, and yeah here we go As you guys can see on that sign, they're open Monday through Thursday, 4 p.m. to midnight. So uh, definitely those are the hours. Check your local hours when you guys arrive because it will change based on the pandemic. This is Robin here from Mokja Czechia. Today we're gonna check out the Vanderpump Cocktail Garden here at the Caesars Hotel in Las Vegas. Let's go! So if you guys park at the Caesars Hotel, that's the best place to park if you want to get to this cocktail garden because it's located on the end of the hotel and kind of more towards the shopping area. Uh, so if you park at the Caesars parking lot, then it's about 100 yards from that parking elevator, okay guys? You just walk straight out towards the casino area and then it should be right ahead. Here's the beautiful entrance, guys. It's right next to all the slot machines and the, the entertainment area. Um, they have the sports bar about another 100 yards out. As you guys can see, the layout and the design, you know, they've used a lot of uh, flowers and just plants and lights and the style kind of reminds me of like a Victorian a European style uh, kind of an older vintage kind of a upscale lounge and, and like a wine bar that's the kind of atmosphere I got the inside is not too big this is a small bar guys so make sure you guys make reservations if you want to uh, come check this place out um, inside they've got these windows that are kind of foam windows they're actually screens got beautiful artwork again lots of flowers and glass uh, just the walls even the lanterns uh, with the lamps I mean they're just really elegant and classy it has this rich chandelier kind of European uh, pride and prejudice feel you know <laughs> so all right so here we go my lady and I just got seated and uh, we wanted to use our uh, celebration dinner so if you guys are part of the Caesars Entertainment Group Diamond Member or Seven Stars. Uh, this is one of the restaurants you guys can use for your celebration dinners. So we ordered a few cocktails and some appetizers. Uh, I ordered the Veni Vidi Lychee, which is made up of fresh uh, lychee Moscow, uh, Moscow Mule, Vanderpump Vodka, lychee, lime, ginger, the ginger liqueur, and Angostura bitters and agave. Uh, I thought this drink was amazing. It was a little bit fruity and light. Uh, I like lychee a lot, so this was a drink that was really pleasing for me. Uh, my fiance ordered the Puff the Magic Dragon, and that has mezcal. She's been kind of on a mezcal run. <laughs> so it's very smoky and fiery. It was way too spicy for, for my butt. Uh, so definitely, um, uh, it's not for, the, not for the weak of stomach, guys. So it's got uh, mezcal, dragon fruit, lemon, orange bitters, fire water bitters, jalapeno, and tajin or tajin. I have no, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Please correct me in the comments below. Anyways, uh, we ordered that, and later on, I had to order, of course, the Rome is burning. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a chaplain, so it just definitely called me, and. Uh, yeah, the, the Rome is Burning was really amazing. It was made out of Woodford Reserve, uh, Carpano Antica, Black Cherry, and Chocolate Bitters. It's actually made for two people. Uh, it's a smoked Black Cherry Manhattan. That's what they're des describing it as. It was amazing. So I had uh, one cocktail and another double. So it was a, it was a fun night for me and my fiance. As for the food guys, we've only ordered two items. We ordered the Ancheco stuffed bacon wrap dates for 14 bucks and the truffle potato puffs. Uh, I personally didn't really care for the truffle potato puffs. They were just pretty much tater tots that were just tossed around with some truffle oil. 
and some uh, Parmesan. I mean, that's okay. You know, for 14 bucks, I don't know if that was really worth it. Oh, bacon wrap dates. They were amazing, guys. So definitely, I would recommend that over the potato puffs. But uh, I really need to order more, and I will definitely be back for more. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please let me know if you guys have been to this cocktail garden, this upscale bar. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. If there's any other comps in Vegas you want me to check out and review, uh, send me a, send me an email, guys. Send me an email or make a comment below, and I'll get to it as soon as possible, guys. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Be safe. Peace.